Hey everybody, welcome to Ecal Media, and today I'm doing a review on two different scooters. This is a Honda PCX150, so it's a 150cc scooter, and uh, it's more modern shape. I added the GV windshield to it, and I added a GV trunk rack and trunk to it also. It's a great riding bike. It has 14 inch uh, rims, so it's a 90 90 by 14 front and rear. And uh, it gets really good gas mileage. Has standard gauge on it. The mirrors, I'm assuming they're factory mirrors, but they work really well. And here's the GV trunk that's on it. And then the other bike is supposed to be the best bike to ride or in the world and that is the Honda Helix. Uh, it came factory with the windshield. It has kind of built-in style mirrors. It has a huge headlight in the front and uh, the way they're designed it is a lot longer. This is a 2001. This is a 2013 and it they're two totally different bikes. That has a the Honda Helix has a 10 inch rim in the rear and then it has a was it a 12 I think and it has a 12 inch rim in the front. The Helix has a foot brake and here which is very different and it won't start until you depress the foot brake all the way down. Um, things that are different also is this seat does not pop up. It does, can't, does have the seat rest in the back. It comes with a digital dash. Uh, the signals work. Everything works. This one has 13,306 miles. And the uh, PCX, I believe, let me turn it on. Let me see. It has 1,708 miles on it. On the PCX, if you hit this, the seat comes undone. If you hit this up, then the gas tank opens. So the gas tank is here. And then the seat opens like this. And you can see you have room for a helmet, uh, groceries, whatever you want to put in here. And then also it has this GV trunk in the back which can hold a lot of stuff. I have a rain gear in here. I was looking for that rain gear. I forgot where it was. The Honda Helix came factory with a trunk and it opens here. So you can see how much room is in here and how much room is in here. I've actually put a case of water in here and it, and it fits perfect. Um, worked out really well so this is the trunk here and this is the trunk on this one on the helix the GV trunk of course you can take off you put the key here pop it off and then you have your little rack that you could strap stuff on but then you also have this in here when you go inside you can put your helmet in here and that works out really well And the gas cap on the Helix is over here. It's kind of awkward to get in there to get it. You know, they've got this plastic stuff around here for the drip rail or for drainage. But it's just kind of tough to get in there to get it. But as you look at the bikes, this is really long. And then you look at this one, and it's only this long. It's so different. And the way they steer, it's very different because this has regular clamp on handlebars, and it steers kind of like a bicycle. It's really quick steering. Um, you can change out the handlebars if you want. And then on the Helix, they're kind of like a pullback design and 
you know instead of steering up here it just kind of swings around like this so it's very very different riding these bikes this bike the helix is a little heavier of a bike it's lower to the ground and you can see here the difference like you can just see the difference in the length well the helix is very long they both have center stands and then they have a side stand also so that's that's good they both have a a drum brake this one's over here and this one's over here on this side in the rear and then the front is a single disc on both of them I rebuilt a caliper on this and the caliper kit I got from I believe it was brake masters and um, they're the only ones that carry the the new buckets that go in here because my buckets we couldn't even get them out so I'm lucky that I ordered it that way uh, the pads are like brand new so I didn't replace them it was just that the caliper was freezing up and then the front suspension on this is like a springer front end you have a bar coming from here connecting to actually a shock absorber and then it goes up and down like this to where on the PCX it's a regular front front fork just like a regular motorcycle would be tube with the springs inside so it handles uh, pretty quick and you can see the profile on the front how this looks very stylish the GV windshield makes it look nice I think and then this one also has uh, Michelin tires on it the city grip 2 and I really like them deep grooves haven't rode it in rain but they seem like they would do very well in rain and uh, they're the same size tires target signals are like added on you could change these if you want to smaller ones to where these are actually built in turn signals and in the front you can see they're built in so if, imagining it's going to take a while to find these if they break I did put new grips on it which the other ones were falling off so this really helps and this has grips and it's got the bar in so it's different too uh, but as far as riding them both of them ride really well I would say the PCX is a little quicker than the helix once the helix gets up to speed it really takes off it cruises really nice at 45 and 50 um, both scooters do uh, the difference is you know the center is lower on the Honda Helix than the PCX 150 so that part is different when you go out for a ride they they are two totally different handling scooters that's for sure has a little bag back here for the which is almost useless it might be for a toolkit I don't know but that's the way they made them but there you go you have two different style the Honda Helix is very retro and old style and the PCX 150 is more of a modern style scooter um, overall I like riding both of them um, the PCX is quicker as far as maneuverability and the way that it handles it does have a smoother ride it seems like because of the bigger tires so I don't have a problem with riding either one of them but it's just what your preference is you can see how the Honda Helix looks in the front it has a unique look when you're riding this Helix everyone's looking at you that's for sure it's just a, a cool look to it then you can see the Helix is wider also <laughs> because of the trunk in the back and the floorboards are set up a little different I always like riding with my feet up here as far up as I can like this it just feels more comfortable um, on the Honda PCX 
you're sitting up here and the handlebars are kind of close to you where the helix they're actually kind of way out and you just kind of they have the pullback design so you tend to kind of lay back as you're riding it they both have a parking brake if you need that um, there is a little pocket here that where you can put your paperwork sanitizer I got hand sanitizer in there and then the um, Honda Helix has a little glove box here which you can put your paperwork and it's quite roomy in there really there's fuses here and it's the same size over here also but you can put a lot of stuff in there so let me know what you think about the two bikes um, I bought the helix as a project to fix it up and ride it and uh, I've had a lot of interest in people wanting to buy it so I believe I'm gonna sell it oh another difference is is the mirrors are actually mounted on the body on the helix to where the mirrors on the PC is actually up on the handlebars so it's a little different while you're riding on that aspect too um, once you're seated on the bike, of course, the PCX is higher than the Honda Helix. Honda Helix is probably the lowest scooter made or motorcycle made. It's I think it's 26 inch and the PC is probably like 30, 31, 29 to 30, something like that inches high. So I'd like to know what you guys think about the uh, scooters. I'd like to see a vote whether you think the Honda Helix is the best design or best scooter or whether you like the PCX 150. Uh, I did add the parts to the PCX to compare it to the Helix. It has the windshield. It has storage under here, but then it also has a trunk. This one has the Helix has the trunk, no storage under the seat. But it does have a glove box in underneath here, which has two sides to it, which is roomy. So let me know what you think, which one is better. Take a vote, and then we'll see who the winner is. I know there will be a lot of votes for the Honda Helix, but there's a lot of people who love the uh, PCX150. Alright, everybody be safe, and enjoy the video, and uh, like and subscribe.